Hi everyone, welcome to my 24 week update with baby number two. This is again going to be up late, I apologise, but I do have reasons for it. Um, I had a midwife appointment today and I had my first physio appointment yesterday. So I wanted to leave it till today to film it and upload it so that I had some things to talk about. Um, first of all, oh and I am 23. 24 weeks and 6 days today, so I'm 25 weeks tomorrow, so I'm at viability, which is amazing, I'm over viability now, which is just obviously one less thing to worry about. So yesterday I had my first physio appointment, I was referred by my midwife for my back pain, um, now I suffered with back pain with Freddie's pregnancy, it, as far as I can remember, it wasn't really that bad, um, but certainly with this pregnancy, it's gotten, it's just such a dull ache and it's just constantly there. So I saw the physio yesterday and I have a extremely overly arched back or arched spine. Um, she said I could have either been born with a slightly arched spine and then bad posture for years. So this is not a pregnancy related issue like SPD or um, sciatica or something like that. It is literally something that I've had before I was pregnant and pregnancy just aggravates it with the weight of obviously the pregnancy, the baby and everything. Um, my, my boobs make it heavier so yeah. Um, she showed me some techniques. Um, sorry about the light, it's going from light to dark, so this was the best place to sit at. Um, but yeah, she showed me some exercises to do th which can help. Um, she suggested that I buy a bump, a back and bump support band, which I'm looking into. And um, <laughs> I have to go back, she wanted me back in two weeks, but I need to arrange that. Um, and I may have to go back once the baby's born just to see her then. Um, so that was that really. It was, I knew I had a back problem and I always have such trouble with jeans and trousers because of my, because of my um, arched back. Um, it is difficult to get jeans that fit because I have such a gap at the back. Um, and I don't really like wearing belts, so um, yeah. Um, on to the midwife appointment today. I had it at nine o'clock this morning. It is now um, 10 to 12. Freddie has gone down for his nap. So if you do hear him, that's him um, on the monitor. But yeah, um, so I had my midwife appointment this morning at nine o'clock. Um, I think I was the first person in there and she again had a um, a student, a different student um, midwife this time and yeah so I'll get um, I'll get on and tell you how that went so at 24 weeks and 6 days um, my fundal height was measuring at 25 centimetres so I am one day ahead but I am pretty much bang on with my fundal height I'm not sure if that had anything to do with the fact that I hadn't eaten breakfast or where the baby's lying, or what, I don't know. Um, so that was perfect. Um, his heart rate was 135 beats per minute, um, and previously, before that, it, it has been 132 and 142. So within the 130s, 140s range, which is perfect. Um, and he was moving about fine um, whilst she was looking for the heartbeat. Um, my blood pressure was 133 over 68, previously to that it, it has been 117 over 68 and 108 over 68, so, and um, my pulse was 90, um, and then onto my urine sample, I again had 3 plus leuc leukocytes and a trace of protein, um, so, but they're not, they're not, um, concerned they're not going to send it off for analysis this time um, they sent it off last time they had there was no um, there was no infection or anything like that they think because of my prolapse 
Um, it could be a reason because I'm needing to urinate more often and because it's so early in the morning um, I don't usually pee that often very early in the morning because I've only not long just got up so um, I got up at I got up I actually got up today at 8 so or just before 8 so um, yeah I didn't I hadn't peed that often so it was quite concentrated so she wasn't concerned um, and then, so that was all fine. Um, he was moving around too much for them to um, figure out where he's um, presenting, um, like positioning wise. Um, but again, it's still, I'm only 20, I'm 25 weeks tomorrow. So he's still, he's still small um, to sort of do positioning and things like that. Um, but I know he's okay. So on to the biggest issue is I spoke, I finally spoke to her today about my concerns in terms of um, a number of things, uh, the prolapse and the weight of the baby and um, just my concerns about labour and delivery and the aftermath and things like that. Um, I explained that I am really anxious about how big this baby is going to weigh. Um, I'm not anxious about the delivery. I know I can deliver a baby, um, a bigger baby. Freddie was borderline eight, nine. So I know I can deliver a larger baby. Um, and that was with an epidural and 30 minutes of pushing with um, no assistance, no forceps or um, Von Tuss or anything like that. Um, so I'm not anxious in terms of that, but um, this time, obviously, with my confirmed prolapse, and that has gotten since I since I first mentioned it to my midwife, um, I am concerned because uh, it has gotten worse. Regardless of how much I do my pelvic floors, um, it has gotten worse with the pressure the pressure from the growing baby and just the pregnancy in general and it is getting worse so by the time I'm term it's going to probably be a lot worse than this and delivering a larger baby um, you know there's no there's no scientific proof that he will be bigger than Freddie but generally the rule of thumb is that second babies are bigger than the first and because Freddie was borderline 8-9 I am just worried of how much damage um, he's going to do to my vagina on the way out. And my point that I made was, yes, it all looks good on paper. You know, the baby's fine. I'm fine. I've got my diabetes test on the October the 11th. So if I get, I didn't have that with Freddie, but if I get ruled, ruled it out again for this baby, which obviously I'm, I prefer it that I didn't have gestational diabetes, but if that gets ruled out, then generally the rule of thumb is that they look at the paper, see everything's healthy, and they completely dismiss you. Um, and with your first pregnancy, you're, you're more prone to being like, yeah, that's fine. You know, I won't speak up. You're the professionals, you know best, you know best and things like that. But this time, I'm not just gonna sit back and let that happen. I'm really not. Um, I'm not in a, I, I don't want to be wearing, like I mentioned last week, I don't want to be wearing sanitary pads for the rest of my life. Um, it's a lot of money if you think about it for the rest of your life to be wearing sanitary pads and I just don't want to and I don't want to add any more, I don't want to put any more pressure and worsen the situation more than it already is. Um, I don't want to be one of these people that goes in and be like, oh, I want to have a cesarean, because I don't. I don't want a cesarean. Um, but if I got offered the chance to have um, an induction earlier to, you know, to keep an eye on his weight, keep an eye on everything with me, and possibly have an induction so that he is smaller, so it does do less damage to me, um, then I will consider it. I've discussed it with Matthew and he is completely 100%, you know, behind me. My mum is, my siblings are, and um, my midwife even agrees with me that she thinks that it's, you know, 
I, I haven't done the wrong thing in, you know, being concerned about this because um, things like this can, they, they don't, they can get better, but they just generally just get worse. So yeah, I've been referred to see a consultant. I saw, I was seeing a consultant for my um, hypothyroidism but I got discharged from him after my first appointment because my um, thyroid is under control. So I'm now not seeing that consultant for my thyd hypothyroidism. But I've been referred to see a different consultant, different department to discuss these concerns um, and see what they say. It's going to be on the same day as my gestational diabetes test, so October the 11th, so um, that appointment is on Friday, so on the Monday I will do my update, um, so I will be 28 weeks, yeah, 28 weeks and a few days, so I will do my appointment, um, you know, the next, on the Monday, and let you know how it all went. Um, obviously, I won't get my results back from my diabetes test straight away, but I can obviously let you know how it went and let you know what the consultant says. So I'm a lot more reassured that, um, A, I spoke up about it, um, because definitely if you do have worries about it, you really, really should speak up about it. There is no point sitting there and worrying about it and not saying anything because nothing will get done um, and I'm not one of these people just to sit back and not say anything so definitely if you have any concerns just definitely say what is you know what is wrong um, and just pretty much just she's written in my notes um, I've seen physio issues are non relating to pregnancy um, uh, passing urine frequently, stress incontinence related, um, which is obviously due to the prolapse. Um, Gemma feeling very anxious regarding delivery um, uh, as something prolapse. She is worried that her um, that her mental health would suffer as a result of anxiety. Um, so to discuss with obstetrician. Um, so, yeah, um, I have a history of depression and anxiety, so I'm not, I'm not depressed. I mean, if my prolapse was to get worse, then I don't know what could happen. Um, I didn't suffer with um, postnatal depression with Freddie, and I doubt that I will this time. Obviously, I, honestly, I don't know, because things can change. But, um, yeah, I... I'm very anxious about it. It's the one thing that is sort of really worrying me. And the fact that, I mean, this this shouldn't be an issue anyway, but the fact that if I did get induced, um, obviously I have to weigh up the pros and cons. Some of you may be sitting there thinking, why would you wantingly go for an induction? But this is just my choice. Um, the health of the baby comes first, and then obviously secondly, is Freddy. Um, obviously induction means that I can get a, I mean I have someone to, I have a couple of options for people offering to look after Freddy anyway if I went into spontaneous labour but with induction there's just that more secure, secure like I can arrange definitely I'm going in on this day and I can get it arranged um, and peace of mind and just for my personal um, peace of mind um, and just bodily wise because you know once this pregnancy is over I'm gonna have to deal with the aftermath of the complications and things like that so um, I'm not concerned about the induction I know that it has an increased chance of um, needing a cesarean um, I know there is that risk um, but any any labour and delivery has a risk of caesarean, so um, I know that already, and 
Um, I'm not concerned about an epidural because I had an epidural with Freddie's, so that does not concern me at all. Um, I was more than likely going to be having one with this pregnancy anyway because of my back problems. Um, and I laboured back to back with Freddie, so um, yeah, that was just that. So if anyone has any comments or questions, um, then leave them below if you want to ask me anything or if you have any experience from this or anything like that. Um, so that's all like the heated stuff out of the way. Um, so yeah, like I said, so that the consultant appointment and the um, gestational diabetes test is for October the 11th, which is in three weeks time. Um, I also have to have an updated uh, thyroid blood test done on that day, um, which I've got all the forms for. Um, and also I've, I've now um, decided I definitely want to go ahead and get um, another scan done. Um, it will be my last, it will be my last, obviously dependent on um, what the consultant says, um, it will be sort of like my last scan that I obviously have control of. Um, this, the scanning place that I've looked into, they do like a package deal where they'll give you 2D and 3D pictures, they'll do the scan, they'll give you fetal weight um, estimations and fluid estimations, they'll show you the baby in 3D as well and they give you the DVD to keep which I never had with Freddy, with Freddy and I really would like that um, especially if this is my last pregnancy that's one thing that I really wanted um, to have an experience of 3D um, Matt doesn't like it whatsoever but at the end of the day I didn't have it with Freddy and I regretted having it done with him so I'm going to get it done with this baby um, and then that's pretty much it um, this is a maternity top, this is new, um, this is from H&M, um, it was $7.99 and I also got some maternity jeans but I actually took those back because they were way too long, um, I'm just very very short legged, short legged, um, so yeah um, I took those back so I actually ended up getting this top for free, <laughs> um, but I don't know, so I'll show you my belly, um, stop rambling on but there obviously was a lot to talk about and I don't think I've forgotten anything. So no. So yeah, I'll show you my belly. So yeah, this is the top. It's sort of like, sort of like a quarter length sleeves, but it's, that's my wrist there. So, so that's from the side. Front side and then side front side there we go so thank you for watching um, again if you have any comments or questions then leave them below and I will see you for week 25. Bye guys!